if you never got around to getting the 171, if you are still trying to make up your mind about the 172, well, you might as well wait a bit longer because guess what? The 173 has just been released. Happy New Year boys and girls, welcome to 2023. If this is your first time here, why not start off the year right? Head down below the video here, hit the subscribe button while you're there, you might as well whack the like button. Because if you like tool reviews, and in particular if you like Makita tool reviews, well then this is the channel for you. So, as you just saw, the 171, the 172, now the 173. This, the TD172D, is not long out in much of the world. It feels like it's only just been released really. In most of the world it will be known as the DTD172 and in the States it is the XDT19. Now the 173, I don't know what the US number will be, we'll have to wait and see for that one. It'll be something 20 or above. But why have Makita released another impact driver on the 18 volt system already? Another flagship impact driver? Well Let's take a look at just what is different between this and the new ones. I don't have a new one here yet. They're pretty hard to get hold of at the moment, but as soon as I get one, I will of course review the tool, but let's just take a look at what we can see so far that is different about them. The first thing being the lights on the front. This is the 172. The 171 is pretty similar. They both have two lights, two LEDs, one on each side. Pretty basic. They also have a glow-in-the-dark bumper ring. That's right, turn off the lights and they glow. Whereas the new model, the 173, has a complete LED ring here. Instead of having individual lights, like let's take a look at this one. This is the 40 volt TD002G and it has four lights. Fast improvement over two, twice as many. And yeah, that's quite nice. This is quite a good light system I found on this impact driver. But now this is completely just one light, which is better again. Presumably you can throw the light completely evenly over everything. And that will be good to see just how bright that is and whether it is a big bonus or not. Now, according to my measurements, this is the first 40 volt and it's 121 millimeters long. This one, 120. This one, 116 and the 172 114 now the new one shaves off another three millimeters so we're down to 111 millimeters long how does that compare to the dewalt well we have a quick measure of the dewalt 100 still 11 millimeters longer than the dewalt this is a very tiny impact driver great for getting into small spaces unless of course you look at the battery area here if you've got to get hard up against something and you've got a very small bit in here so you can get into a tight space, that battery, that's the 5 amp hour power stack, sticks out the front way too far. I wonder if Makita have done anything about that. Well, apart from the fact that the Makita battery is shorter than that power stack one anyway, let's take a look at what they've done to try and tweak things a bit. If we take a look at the 172 and most impact drivers in general, the handle is pretty close to the back end of the tool. So there you go, all the controls at the front and the handle towards the back. That's how impact drivers are made, right? Well, Makita have tweaked it a bit and they've moved this handle forward because they've shifted this and put it on the back. So because the handle is now more central to the battery, it'll be a more even weight instead of it sort of tilting forward a little bit in your hand with the weight of the battery. Now it should be a bit more even and a bit more upright. We'll have to wait and see exactly how they feel. I do believe they have lightened the tool itself as well. But once again, once I get one, we'll weigh everything and we'll check all that sort of stuff. But moving that handle forward helps bring that back. And then you're far less likely to have problems like that. Look how far that sticks out the front. And like I said, it's in the middle because on the back, that's where they have stuck the control panel. The control panel looks to be the same as the 172, but just shifted to the back. So likely you'd have all the same sort of features, bolt modes, tech modes, wood screw modes, that sort of thing. When we take a look at the numbers, you're not going to get any more power out of this new one. If you're expecting something to take on the Milwaukee and smash screws in faster than Milwaukee, I'm afraid ain't going to happen with this model. It is still 180 Newton meters like the 172, 
and all the numbers for the speeds and the impact are all the same so it's probably pretty much the same tool in a different design body controller at the back weight distribution shifted and it should be narrower in the front because we haven't got those lights on the side anymore so they can bring that in you can get a smaller nose to get into finer spots it looks like they're just trying to make a more refined tool for getting into small spaces make it comfortable in the hand nice and light all that sort of stuff all the sort of things you expect from Makita anyway now you have no doubt noticed that all the impact drivers in this video are not your typical Makita color your typical Makita impact driver looking more like this color wise but these ones are JDM impact drivers that means they are Japanese they are made for the Japanese domestic market and they do them in a range of different colors each year so Authentic purple, that's what this one is. They also do, for some reason, DeWalt yellow. They also do red. They do olive green. They do black. And they do the standard teal. Now, all of those will be available on the new 173 when it does finally become available for all of us. And when I know more information about it, and when I've got one in my hot little hand, well, you guys will be the first to know. And you will, of course, see the video up here. And I'll, as soon as I can find somewhere that we can buy them from I'll chuck up some links as well in a post and you can get your hot little hands on one of these cool new impact drivers is the new impact driver going to be a game changer probably not certainly not if you're looking for power but it's just a refinement of what we already know and love maybe it will be the new way going forward and does it also mean that this one is going to now be superseded by a new model soon are they going to put the control panel on the back of the 40 volt they might just wait and see how the 173 does and whether people like that um, personally i think it's quite a good idea because when you are holding an impact driver that's the way you're naturally holding it so it's it's right there in your face sort of thing whereas spinning it around to do it these are all upside down which i find annoying the numbers are around the wrong way um, they're designed to be looked at from this angle which means you sort of got this in the way so yeah on the back it makes sense um Hikoki did try it on the side a few years ago it's something that wasn't wasn't a bad idea to try but they did still have a control panel on the front just for the lights which seemed a bit odd and unnecessary and the problem with this is just too many people didn't understand what these lights mean and i get people telling me i use the wrong settings all the time because they think power is the last one power is the second to last one okay the P with the line is the one before the end. The last one is a screw mode. So lots of people say, no, you got in the wrong mode. No, you don't understand the damn tool. And then Hikoki went back to just doing it on the front. They've still made it rather confusing though, unfortunately. Yeah. In fact, a lot of companies, Hikoki and Makita, they're both a bit confusing when it comes to the settings. Um, something like this is much more simple. Problem is, that's setting three and it's now it's slow. Setting one, fast. Round the wrong way. Take this off, put it back on, let's see what happens now. No, speed three, doesn't want to go. One is three, three is one. That's what it's doing today. Tomorrow it'll be different. Sometimes they're all three usually. So setting one will be the fastest. Setting three will be fast, but today they're just backwards. That's the what for you. Anyway, I think that's about all there is to say about the 173 at this stage until I've got one to actually look through and play with and tell you what all the settings and everything are like. And how it feels in the hand, I think, is going to be the biggest difference with this particular tool. Right, quickly, what else have we got? Well, another step closer to the microwave here is a couple of images of the finished microwave. That's right, if you weren't aware, they are making a 40 volt microwave. It's got two ports on the back. As far as I'm aware, it's a 40 volt tool, not an 80 volt tool. And two 8 amp hour batteries will run it on its highest setting, which is only 500 watts. It's pretty low for a microwave. Two settings, 500 and 350. On the 500, you'll get 37 minutes out of two 8 amp hour batteries. Uh, and on the 2.5 amp hour batteries, you'll only get about nine minutes, I think it was. So, and about 16 on the fours. So, it's going to chew through the juice. But if it can heat up your lunch on site, might be quite handy. Might be a lot of guys that fancy that idea. Now the mowers that we looked at last time are rolling out around the world. <laughs> rolling out. Anyway, uh, the AC001G 
40 volt compressor is available so I've been told in the US if anyone's got one yet let me know down below there is also a pair of XGT 40 volt staplers so one is a narrow gauge and one is a not so narrow gauge but how much longer are we going to have to wait until they release the nailer that we all want? Well, there are images floating around. So maybe it's not too far away. You know what I'm talking about. Don't really want to say it out loud. Anyway, that's just a quick Makita update to get the year going. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I will see you on another Makita video real soon. As well as updates, of course, I review a ton of Makita 40 volt tools. Um, I think maybe. From what I keep getting told, I review more 40 volt Makita stuff than anyone. So if that's what you're into, remember to subscribe. I do also, of course, do the 18 volt stuff, DeWalt stuff, Hikoki, Matabo HPT, Milwaukee, you name it. There's going to be a ton of reviews this year. 2023 is already shaping up to be quite a cool year for tools by the looks. So. Until next time, have a good one, and I'll see you all later. Cheers, guys.